sorry i really hate how those cars are parked outside i hope arte give fines to those people who just park hi guys welcome back so today is another episode of driving but today i want to share some tips that i've learned as a new driver in dubai i wanted to tell everybody who has just got their license congratulations <laughs> i know how it feels and you know i really really do if you haven't watched my first video please I, i'll put it in here so you guys can watch it how i got my license in the first try so the tips that i'm sharing are based on my opinion and based on my experience which i hope can help other people as well okay <laughs> i'm reading okay first and foremost is that this is a you know i think it's by default to all drivers but really we really need to follow the rules i mean seriously like follow the rules i see a lot of drivers in dubai that are not following rules and because the rta for 2017 have launched an increase in the amount of penalty um, prices plus not only about the penalty prices it also includes black points so I think I've read that if you break, I mean, if you do over speeding, it's gonna cost you like, I think 3,000 dirhams plus some block points. And really it's a lot of money. So the second, um, you know, second tip that I can give is that don't panic. I've had instances where in like, for example, in the situation where in you're in the traffic and then like somebody just honk at you or you did something wrong or you, you know, because when you're a new driver, you're not, <laughs> you're not really comfortable with you know especially with changing lanes or with just everything just you feel it's a different new a level for you actually I had to you know a near a uh, miss accident most of the time so I just try my best not to panic because sometimes it's really not your fault most of the time it's the fault of those drivers who are really hard-headed and you know they are just I don't know how they get away with it. I know you guys are gonna be experiencing a lot of this, you know, drivers in Dubai, wherein they are really violators. And if you think that some of those drivers can cause accident or he's really driving insane, you can really report them to the police. You can just call the police and just tell them about the plate number. This number three is really, really important. Always keep a safe distance. I, t I tell this from my own experience. <laughs> because you wouldn't really know what the other drivers are gonna do you know when i had actually i had a small accident recently because it's a u-turn slot and i was in a rush and it was morning and i wanted to you know catch the green light and i didn't notice that the car in front of me suddenly stopped so if i'm keeping a safe distance i would have you know a lot of time to break and i wouldn't be able to catch him <laughs> number four that you guys need to you know <laughs> worry about are the pedestrians pedestrians just show up everywhere every time so make sure that you guys when you are in the runabout when you are in the stop sign make sure that before you move you check your surroundings i really really highly recommend that you do this guys because i also have a nearly miss accident in a roundabout we're in you're not really expecting any pedestrian to cross a roundabout without a pedestrian sign and they just pop out and mind you guys if you by any chance you know um damage a pedestrian or a person or do an accident with them you can go to jail so is really really scary so make sure that you do take care of pedestrians all the time number five so for new drivers normally we don't know about the streets and we're not familiar about you know where to go so i have an idea for you check in google maps where you're going or just try to see some directions because i tried to do this on the google map i went to the airport i lost my way but it's really difficult to you know look at the phone and look at the street at the same time so you can you know like probably eliminate some of these steps by just looking at the google maps before you guys go there is like a direction where you can you know just follow or just make sure that you understand what you know uh the google map is saying where to go turn left turn right or whatnot just be familiar about these things 
So number six, keep your cool. A lot of drivers are really hot-headed and become very angry easily. So just try your best to keep your cool because really, seriously, like a lot of people are so hot-headed. Like if you don't move or whatnot, they honk at you or you did a small mistake, they honk at you. So just keep your cool all the time. Okay, number seven, um, I prefer that you guys be a defensive driver rather than to be the opposite because defensive driving is safe driving. Always remember that. <laughs> yes, yes, who is that? Amir or Zane Zane? Yeah, actually we're going outside. So I just wanted to film this short clip very quick. So I have something to, <laughs> to post. <laughs> okay. So number eight, if you can and if you can afford, try to get a new car rather than a second-hand car because it really, you know, gives you that peace of mind. And if you don't know anything about the car, you're very sure that it's not going to break down on the road when you need it. Actually, I didn't get a new one. So this is my husband's car. So we kind of swap. We get a second-hand car for him. Um, I'm used to the Honda Accord and we got a second-hand, which is a Ford Focus. I don't know, but I don't really like how that Ford Focus um, drives. I feel way comfortable driving the Honda Accord. Even this one is really, really old. But I really feel, you know, comfortable with this one and confident when I'm driving because it's easier. It's, you know, it's light, everything. Anyway, I have a husband to have someone to take care of my stuff. So if you guys are alone and you don't have anybody, just get a new car. Okay, tip number nine, know the RTA rules. Why I said that, you know, RTA keeps changing rules every time and it's, you know, a lot easier, to, especially for new drivers to, you know, refrain from violations or penalties if we are aware about the new rules. Normally, they do publish that on the news and everywhere, but if you just had your license, you know, just try to Google it, new RTA rules for 2017. I'm sure you'll get a lot of, you know, a lot of um, hits and just make sure you, you know, browse over them. Some of the times, they also change the speed limit of the roads, especially now in Sheikh Zayed, they did change. What? <laughs> what you're saying, Zane? They did change, you know, the road limit from 120 to 100 kph. And last but not the least, yes, and number 10, tip number 10, practice makes perfect. You know, if you did a uh, mistake, make sure, to, just keep practicing. You know, these drivers who are professional, who have like 10 years experience, they never become like them without the experience itself. So it takes time to be good at something. So I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be good after some time and you're going to get a grip about everything and everything is going to be okay. But just on the bonus one, seriously guys, if you're a new driver, please mind how you park. Sorry, I really hate how the those cars are parked outside I hope Arte give fines to those people who just park you know without minding the other cars how they park sometimes they park like this or like this or very near to the line or slanted or whatnot <laughs> they're talking they think I'm talking to them so I really really hate that one when I see any cars who are like blocking the way or like just taking two parking spaces seriously like these people ah really really makes me very angry sure maybe i'll have the not to do things as a new driver in my next videos so please don't be like them and yes i think that's just about it guys i hope you do enjoy this video if you haven't watched the other videos that i have i'm going to link a playlist upload i'm going to link my playlist in here so maybe it could help you out your friend or whatnot i have some more tips for you guys to share so if you haven't subscribed please consider yourself subscribing as i wanted to have a lot more videos about driving and my learning experience about a new driver so yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a good day bye